just come to this drawer really quickly. A nice array of Loving Tan products. Not bad tanner. Not tanner. My hands look very smooth and not spotchy. What is up and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is sam and if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos i am really suffering from some allergies right now so please excuse my stuffy voice but luckily most of the clips in this video i actually filmed a few days ago when i wasn't stuffy so you won't have to hear it for long but anyways today i am doing a very highly requested video and that is my self tanning routine as you guys know i literally can't live with without self tanner. I don't know what it is. I just really feel my most confident self when I have self tan on, when I'm bronzed up. And another reason is because I am very much against, you know, going to tanning beds, laying out in the sun for long periods of time. If you have another option, why would you go to a tanning bed or why would you lay out in the sun and literally damage your skin? Like, I don't think anybody realizes how much the sun can damage your skin. So yeah, that is why a few years ago I started using self tanner and I literally have not stopped since so i'm finally bringing you my foolproof self tanning routine i made one of these videos a few months ago but i'm doing a little updated one because i've been getting so many questions about it if you guys don't know already my favorite self tanner is loving tan i'm so excited to show you guys my little routine what i do how to get the perfect flawless foolproof self tanning application if you're going to an event if you're going on vacation whatever it is you want to make sure that you're applying it good and you don't look splotchy and that it just looks natural like let me just show you how obsessed i am with loving tan like just in case you guys don't believe me um i literally have like a whole store in my room of loving tan products because i'm just that obsessed like let me just show you you come over here my little vanity she's a little bit messy right now you just come to this drawer really quickly you will find a nice array of loving tan products i have my little exfoliating mitt all my creams and tinted moisturizers and such and then down here i have all of my mousses and a nice big stack of applicator mitts as you can tell i have so many of them and so i just keep them there so first off, we have the one and only self-tanning mousse. They have a two-hour express and then a deluxe bronzing mousse, which you leave on for like six to eight hours. That's the one I use. I'm in the shade Ultra Dark. I love this mousse so much because it has the best formula to give you a nice natural olive tone pan. It doesn't make you look orange. Their formula is specifically made to not give you that orange, you know, look to you. That is why compared to other tanners, Loving Tan is literally the best in my eyes. And then and I also have a gradual tan moisturizer, which I really love using this to maintain my tan. Once I've had this on for a few days and I like take another shower, I'll use this as my moisturizer because it kind of just gives you a little bit more color and like keeps your tan. I have this one in the shade dark and it says natural olive color enriched with antioxidants and buildable for daily use. And then this is also amazing. It is the bronze shimmer. I love using this in the summer because obviously, you know, you have more body showing and so i love putting this on before i'm going out somewhere so that i look you know very shimmery and, like bronzed up this is basically it just gives you some instant color and it also has like shimmer in it like i mentioned this will literally wash off in the shower at the end of the day but it dries down really really nicely so it doesn't get on your clothes or anything but if you did want to wash it off with like water and soap at the end of the day it comes right off this is perfect for like nights out where you just want to look really bronzy so i love this i'm in the shade ultra dark to go with my mousse and then last but not least we have the face tanner i've been using this so much and i really love it i love the natural tan it gives to my face it doesn't look too orange it doesn't look too intense at all and it doesn't like pick up on bad areas especially if you apply it the way i'm going to show you in the video so i really really love this it is specifically designed for your face so it's not going to make you break out it's very gentle and this one works super fast it literally just has to stay on your face for two hours and then you wash it off and you have a nice tan on your face it just like literally can't get better than this i just 
love self tanning all the time and this just little routine that I do has made it so easy and it's a religious thing that I do like every two weeks <laughs> so if you were wondering how I always look tan even though I live in an area that's not even warm out yet this is how and I'm gonna show you all my little tips and tricks on how to get the perfect application of your tan and one last thing before I hop into the video and before you guys see how to apply this self tanner you can use my code Samantha Nicole and get a free applicator mitt I talk about all the mitts and stuff in the video so you guys are gonna see how amazing they are but just know that is like an amazing deal you can get a free applicator mitt with the purchase of your mousse and yeah I'm gonna stop talking now because if you want to see how I went from this to this then just keep watching all right guys so i'm ready to get tan as you can tell i'm very pale right now i'm very excited to self tan today i just got back from the gym i really need to shower so i'm gonna go in and i'm going to take like one of those really long showers where you really just exfoliate shave wash your hair just really go all in the shower you know since this is the very first Step. We are going to be using the Loving Tan Exfoliating Mitt. This thing is literally probably the most important part of self tanning. Like, actually, especially once your self tan wears off, you really need to use this and scrub off all excess tanner and just all of your dead skin. I usually like to use the black side because this is a more like rougher exfoliating, and then the pink side is more gentle for like your neck. So, it's very simple. All you do is just put it on when you're in the shower and then you just scrub away and it works so good i go in the shower do my thing exfoliate wash my hair and then i will come back out and show you guys the next step of my tanning routine and the actual application process all that fun stuff so yeah be ready important step is to moisturize so you only want to moisturize the very thin parts of your body so your hands your elbows your knees your ankles i'm using the aveeno moisturizer i would definitely recommend staying away from like you know those bath and body works fragranced moisturizers i feel like these work the best and now when i moisturize my hands specifically because you know it's like really embarrassing when you have really bad tan on your hands i like really lather them up i put an insane amount of moisturizer on my hands because I feel like that's the only way to make sure that they don't get like splotchy and you get a nice even thin layer of tan on your hands and then I kind of do the same thing on like my elbows and then my knees and my ankles okay everybody now that we're all lotioned up we're ready to start tanning I should not be wearing this white robe while I do it but I don't know what to tell you things that you will need step one an applicator mitt this is the loving tan applicator mitt this is the best applicator mitt I've ever used I've tried you know the cheap ones from like Ulta and stuff but this one makes such a difference it is so soft the material on it just gives you the most flawless even tan ever like the application with this is literally flawless like you can't go wrong with it so I would definitely recommend this mitt as well because it makes such a difference and if you use my code you can get one of these for free, I would suggest putting on clothing that you do not care about or just doing it completely naked. I usually do that most of the time, but since I'm filming myself, I have to put on like a t-shirt and just like shorts or whatever. So I'm gonna do that because I don't wanna get this robe all dirty. But yeah, just go on some, put on some really loose clothes that you don't care about and then we will start applying okay now i'm in this big t-shirt and i'm gonna start putting it on i cannot wait to be tan i hate the way i look when i'm pale it's like insane so literally all you do grab your nice mitt over here and you just put a few pumps i literally do like two to three every time roll this up i usually start with my arms and i just literally quickly put a nice even layer around the first part of my arm really make sure to get every section and like i said this dries down really quickly so you kind of have to move quickly but literally just go in like up and down motion sometimes i do some circles you know you guys kind of get the gist just putting it on like i said it's obviously way easier to do this like when you're naked and you're not you don't have clothes on 
So I'm only going to show you guys a little bit and then I'm probably just going to do the rest off camera because it is a little bit hard to do with clothes on. But I will try to just show as much as I can. The mousse actually has instant bronzer in it. So you might see like some splotches like right there. You see that? That's just the instant bronzer. So even if it looks a little splotchy, as long as everything is evenly coated once, it will not like pick up splotchy. Once you rinse it off, the instant bronzer will come off and you'll just have a nice even tan. So it's very very easy and foolproof so there you go you just make sure you have everything evenly coated once and then for my hands I just take whatever I have left over on the mitt and I just go over them like really quickly like this and just really get every little crevice and since we put the moisturizer on it won't really pick up that dark at all it'll just be a nice even light layer on your hands okay so now watch this right away you could already tell <laughs> the difference between the tanner and the knot tanner it works very nicely my hands look very smooth and not splotchy at all and yeah that's literally what i do throughout my entire body right now i'm just going to show you guys how i do my legs really quickly it's basically the exact same thing but i'll just show you sam's gonna film for me I literally just do the exact same thing start here and i just cover the whole leg making sure it's like covered and so now, as you can tell, the difference already in this leg compared to this leg, nice and tan. And so that's literally all I do for my entire body. For my neck, I just apply it as normal. And then for my back, I usually need to have Sam or like my friends or whatever help me with my back because it's kind of hard to reach. So you might just need someone to help you get back there. I think I'm just going to finish applying this off of camera so I can make sure to get, you know, a nice even layer across my entire body. And then I will come back and show you guys what it looks like and I will tell you guys the next step bye <laughs> Okay, everyone I'm done self tanning my entire body as you can tell I already look better Already, but now we have to do the face because as you can see I put it up to my jawline But now we have a big difference and we need to put just a little bit on my face I usually do not put that much but loving tan actually has a deluxe face tan specifically for your face so it's not going to make you break out or anything and it's just a very subtle tan for your face this is in the shade dark this one you only have to leave on for two hours so you just put it on and then you can lightly rinse it off after two hours this literally i just take the same mitt i usually keep my mitts very clean i wash them every single use so it's not like you know dirty to put on your face so make sure you are cleaning your mitt so that you're not putting germs onto your face because you can break out that way so I just take a little bit of this like literally such a small amount on the very tip of the mitt You can also use like a brush or you know, like a face brush or something to blend it out But I honestly just use the mitt because I don't really have a brush to use and with this I kind of just rub it in on the outsides of my face not really in my t-zone i like mainly focus it on the places where i usually contour because i use the tan as like a natural contour almost if that makes sense so i just kind of rub it in mainly over there and then with the excess i'll bring it like a little bit in my t-zone just so that it looks even and don't forget to put it on your ears as well so that your ears match and then just a little bit more for my forehead so that is all i do for my face as you can tell it's a very light tan and it will develop more over time within the next two hours so we are completely tanned up and all we do is just chill out wait the appropriate amount of hours before we go and rinse all of this off so for my body i'm gonna wait probably like six to eight hours sometimes i actually sleep with it on it doesn't really affect the tan in any negative way if anything it just lets it develop even more so i'll probably wash it off tonight before i go to bed after like an hour the tan is completely dried down and you can literally wear like whatever you want you don't feel sticky you just feel completely normal i always try to avoid like sweating or being in very very hot environments when my tan is still developing because obviously that could interfere with how it's developing into your skin if you're sweating so i just like to chill out and then wash it off so i will see you guys either Either tonight to wash it off or tomorrow morning I don't know sometimes I forget to wash it off and I just fall asleep so I guess we'll just see what happens but yeah I'm so excited to be tan because I feel so much more confident already so BRB
all right guys good morning it is the next day i did not wash off my tan yet but i'm about to um i just wanted to quickly show you guys what it looks like when it's like completely developed as you can tell my face looks very nice and naturally tanned i did wash off my face because that one only goes on for two hours but my skin is nice and tanned it does look a little like too dark right now but that's because i didn't wash it off yet so once i wash it off it's going to look so much more natural my legs look like this nice and tanned my arms tan neck tan um so yeah literally all i do now is i just go in the shower quickly and rinse it off don't use soap or anything just literally rinse off the instant bronzer and then once i'm done with that i will look much more natural and bronzy so i'm gonna go do that and then i'm gonna get ready for the day and i'm gonna show you guys the final result of what this tanner can do for you i will finally look more put together than i have looked throughout this entire video and i'm very excited so let's do it all right guys so i am all dressed and ready now and i wanted to show you guys what my tan looks like now that it's all washed off because it looks way more natural and just like a natural bronziness to my skin so as you can tell it looks very natural my hands look okay perfectly fine i just feel so much more confident now because i just have this nice bronzy tan and i didn't even have to damage my skin in the process of getting it i feel amazing the results that this tan gives me is just everything that i could have ever wanted or asked for out of a self tanner so why even try other brands you know i've been using it literally for years and it has never failed me so definitely would 100 percent recommend if you guys want to get a free applicator mitt don't forget to use my code i will have it on the screen as well as in my description so don't forget to go use that because like i said their mitt is like the best ever i'm finally gonna be able to take some fire instagram pictures now that i'm all nice and tanned i really need to do something with my hair but if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up i will have all the information that you'll need for loving tan down in my description so make sure to go check that out uh, make sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one Bye.